So, I one time I went to go down in this basement that I've been in in a lot, quite a few times anyway, not a huge amount, but quite a bit. And the lights was off, and I was putting something up, and I thought, ah, I could just feel my way around. And so it was dark, and as I went towards the area that I was going to put something up as, it got darker. And anyway, I was kind of feeling around, and I felt something sharp, and I thought, this feels kind of like a knife, or this feels like a blade. I thought, you know, I better turn back. So I went back, and I turned the light on, and I went back over, and it was some sort of like kind of a blade. It was like some kind of a, it was a different looking, but anyway, sometimes we can think that we can do things on our own, but yet when we try to, we just end up in the dark, and we can end up hurting ourselves. But God, He is like our leader. He is like the one that leads us and guides us and should guide us through everything. Because He He knows the beginning. He knows the end. He knows what's going to happen. He knows the, bre the next breath you're going to take, the next prayer you're going to take. And He should increase in our lives more so He can lead us and guide us. And we won't end up stuck in the dark. Because He is a light. Like the other day in our church, I remember the sun was kind of setting, but there was a window, I think it was on the door, and it was just so bright coming in on our Wednesday night service. It was beautiful. That's how Jesus is. When we're in the dark and we're trying to be led off on our own way, Jesus is the light that shines in, and he will lead us. Just keep your eyes on that light. Keep your eyes set on Jesus and let him guide you through every situation, circumstance, everything in your life because he'll be with you and he will help you and let him increase in your life letting the light take over all the darkness you know it's easy to have to feel like there's a darkness because this world are so much bad and there's so many temptations but don't let it take you over let Jesus let Jesus be your full light let him be brighter than the sun in your life and put the spotlight on him. John 3 verse 30 says, He must increase, but I must decrease. Sometimes we have to decrease in our life for God to increase. And that's hard. You know, I've had to even live this verse out. And it has been hard. It's been rough. But when Jesus, he is all we need. When he increases in your life, there will be more of a peace and you'll have a friend that'll be with you and stay with you and he loves you and even when things are hard if jesus is in your life you'll know that someday you'll be in heaven with him and that he's going to work everything out in your life now and then he loves you and he does love you he died for you so keep your eyes on that light today and don't look at the darkness around you, which is easy to do. But let him guide you in every situation, every temptation. Let him guide you through it and help you. So I hope you all know how much Jesus loves you. And have a blessed day.